Hello crafty friends, this is card number 13 in full deck challenge 2. The prompts are botanicals, fabric, texture, label. For my botanical part I'm going to use these rub-ons from Topology and then for my fabric I'm going to use a piece of calico. For my texture, I'm going to use this beautiful piece of, it's like a homemade paper that's made sort of in a grid form. It creates beautiful, beautiful texture. And then for my labels, I have a vintage label and then some printed little labels. I'm not quite sure yet which ones I'm going to use. So to start, I'm going to prepare the card like I normally do by adding a piece of white tissue paper. On the top of the card, I'm going to add this with Mod Podge. You could also use craft glue or even a glue stick. You don't have to add this part. I normally do just to create a base for any kind of medium that I'm going to be adding on top. If you have a card that isn't super shiny, you don't have to add anything on top. Or some people are now also lightly sand the face of the card just to remove that glossy film so that you can add any kind of paint or ink on top. I also like adding the tissue paper because it also adds additional texture. My first layer I'm going to lay quite flat. I'm sort of doing a little bit with my fingers just to create a little bit of texture. But then I'm going to add a second piece on top and really scrumple it up with my fingers and sort of push it together. So it creates big wrinkles and creases. And then I'm going to add another layer of Mod Podge on the top. Once it's dried really well, I'm just going to rip off the excess and leave a really rough edge. I'm just going to add a little bit of white gesso with my finger just to tone down the background of the card. Once that's all dry, I'm going to add a little bit of luster with this metallic wax in the color Antique Gold. This is available from Little Birdie Crafts. I'm just putting it with my finger gently over where the creases are so it picks up a little bit of the, that luster. I want to add a bit more bling and a bit more gold. So I'm going to use this gold acrylic paint that I'm going to water down and then splatter over the entire face of the card. This is a beautiful super metallic acrylic paint that I found that is actually really inexpensive. I found it in Big W. That is a store here in Australia in the craft aisle. Once all the metallic bling is dry, I'm going to start layering and texturing the rest of my card. I'm going to use different layers, including this actual textured homemade paper. I'm just going to rip a piece sort of smaller than the face of the card and an, an irregular shape. We don't want it to be exactly the same shape. And then I'm also going to crumple the middle just to make it a bit more 3D. And then I'm very excited to use these botanicals, which are rub-ons. These botanicals and the previous textured homemade paper are available from Topology. I'll put a link to their website below. There is a 15% discount if you purchase using my code. And also I have a recent product haul video with a lot of goodies from their store. I'll put a link to that video in the description box below. These rub-ons go great on fabric. I'm going to use a small piece of calico for my little botanical image. I just cut out the image, peel off the back, place the image on top of the fabric, and then use a little stick to rub it over the entire image. And then when you've rubbed it really, really well, you'll just peel off the top layer and the image stays behind on the fabric. I think that looks awesome. And I've left the fabric with frayed edges because that adds additional texture. I feel it needs a bit of a darker color underneath just to balance it all. I have this beautiful green Pignola paper, which I'm going to use a piece of just to create that depth and balance with the color. I'm just trying different pieces and different shapes just to see which is the most balanced and what looks best. So I'm putting two sort of separate pieces, one on the top left, one on the bottom right. And I think that looks good and balanced and then I'm just going to see where I'm going to place my little labels and notes before I start sticking everything down. It's just a matter of moving the elements around until you get something that is pleasing to the eye and that you're happy with. And then because I don't want everything flat and the idea of this one is to have a lot of texture, I'm just curling up the edges of the Pinola paper and any other papers that are sticking up, I'm just pushing them up so they're not flat down against the card. Once I'm happy with the placement of everything, I'm going to start sticking everything down. 
I'm using liquid glue, but you could also use Mod Podge, craft glue, double-sided tape, or even a glue stick or a hot glue gun. And because I absolutely love layers, I'm going to add one more. I'm going to use a piece of cheesecloth just underneath the main element. I just pull it and stretch it just to fray it a bit and to make it an irregular shape. And then I place it on top of my other layers. And then I'm going to add some glue to the calico and add that on top. Now, just a note, this liquid glue was maybe not the best idea for the calico, which I should have thought of before I used it. It sort of seeped through just slightly to the top where you can see it. It doesn't really matter because it does look like it's part of the botanical leaves, but do be careful when using liquid glue and fabric. That was a rookie mistake. And then I want to add something to the vintage label at the bottom left. I don't want it just white like that. I think it detracts from the actual focal point, which is the botanical in the middle. So I'm just going to cut out some numbers from a vintage bus ticket that I have, and I want to stick those onto the label. I think it adds some great detail. I'm then going to run just the left and the right sections just a little bit under the sewing machine with just some plain running stitch and I'm going to leave the threads just hanging but I've just done a little bit of extra detail just to finish it off. It's never too late to join in the full deck challenge. This is full deck challenge number two. Full deck challenge one has been completed and we have a full playlist. I will add the playlist in the description box below. You can start at any time and in any order that you want. You can either follow my prompts and my videos or you can just be inspired and create your own. If you're on Facebook, do join my Facebook group. Just search full deck challenge group. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and were inspired to create your own. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content and I'll see you again soon. Bye.